First things first, safety. Whenever you enter a warm zone, warm zone is kids that are 10 feet from the water back. It was anything but warm on an unseasonably brisk spring morning when Clark County firefighters entered the waters at Wet n Wild. Ready, step. Every two years, these men and women take a refresher course in swift water rescue. Top rope, sir, top rope. Clad in headgear and life vests, the rescuers use sticks and ropes to battle the currents. Simulating saving a victim, they created human chains and walked in lockstep to avoid becoming victims themselves in fast-flowing water. Even a short desert rainfall can deluge city streets and washes, and a couple inches create flash flooding that can knock down a full-grown adult or cause a vehicle to float away. Even the bravest firefighters know to maintain a concept of self-rescue and personal safety while saving victims. People don't understand how powerful water is. They tend to wade out into it or drive their vehicles. So as I mentioned before, just a small amount of water can sweep them off their feet. Uh, if they do drive into the water, which they shouldn't do, uh, they should immediately abandon their vehicle if it's safe and get to higher ground. If it isn't safe, then they need to wait there to be rescued. 